Looks like the mail's coming right into camp today. Thanks, Biggie, so much for bringing the mail. Look here, Sham, special delivery by the Beagle Blue Apron. In this video, we're going through the steps to make a peach and pickled pepper grilled cheese sandwich and also giving our review of Blue Apron. Can it hold up to some cowboy cooking? Hang on, we're about to find out. Hey folks, thank y'all for dropping by camp. Ooh, it is a great day above the grass. Who am I? My name is Cowboy Kent Rollins. What do we do here? We do a lot of grilling. We do a lot of cast iron cooking. And today, folks, we are doing something a little different at the wagon I've never done before. We are partnering up with the good folks at Blue Apron, and we're going to see what we can create. Now, the box is here. It is come FedEx. Comes right to your door. But I'm really interested to see, is this going to work cowboy style? Can it be cooked out here on the open range in Old Bertha? And are the ingredients really good and fresh? As we go along in this video and you think this is something you might be interested in, be sure and sign up. Click the little link down there below that Shan's going to have for you. The first 50 folks that sign up are going to get $50 off this program for the first two weeks. Peach and pickled pepper grilled cheese with butter, lettuce, and radish salad. Now, Ooh. have y'all ever seen me cook something like this at the wagon? But stick around too, because we have a bonus feature that we're going to throw in there. And I think it's got something to do with what? Beef. Let's get after this peach and pickled pepper grilled cheese. And you say that 12 times real fast while I unbox the stuff. And it comes to you packed cold. So if you're not there during the day, this ain't going to spoil. Ooh, they got some good padding on here, so don't nothing break. But also that's helping hold in that cold. And it's cold down in there. And one thing I liked about it is they're all labeled here to show you what goes with what recipe. It's got a pretty picture as how this is going to look. Y'all seen my plating before. It might not look quite like that, but we're going to make it edible, I tell you. And we're going to see if they're easy to follow, make sense to an old cowboy cook, and see what it tastes like on the end result. I've seen a lot of lettuce grow in the garden in my life. Can you hear, hear that, Shan? That is good crisp oh wow it is crisp Mm-hmm. that is fresh i think they just picked it right before they put it in the box folks well got all my prep work done i did i sliced that good peach and whoo that thing was so pretty sliced so easy then i thinly sliced my swiss cheese and my little white cheddar chopped up my sweet picante peppers diced them up really nice got everything ready to go so let's break out that sourdough bread and let's make this sandwich so We got her all put together, we did. The only thing that wasn't in the box that it said you would need to do, and we did, was a little salt and pepper. So take it over here to my old trusty stove, Bertha, and see what she can do to a grilled cheese sandwich. Come on. Well, Bertha, we have melted the butter you have, and look here what you get to see. You have never cooked a grilled cheese sandwich in your life. So we're gonna lay them right in there. I can hear just a little sizzle I can. Now folks, they say cover it with some tinfoil for about two or three minutes on this side to help that cooking process. This ain't your conventional oven right here. This is Bertha. She is known for NASA heat, 900 to 400, 3,000 million degrees. We need to check this thing. We'll get rid of this here. They say get you a little olive oil and just put a splash in there before you turn it. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, folks. First, I'm gonna look and make sure that Bertha is keeping the same time schedule I am and whoo, ain't she doing that for sure. So we're just gonna put a little splash in there. We get this out of the way. Turn it, oh, so gently. Ooh, wee. Bertha, you are fancy cooking, honey. Bertha has done her job with a fancy grilled cheese sandwich. Their next step was, follow me on over here, folks. We have us a garlic clove that I have cut the end off of, and I'm just gonna take it as they say, and just rub it right there on that bread. So let's go out here in Mother Nature's kitchen and let's cut this rascal. Well, look who stepped on the other side of the camera when, when it comes. food, food comes out. You sort of like the beagle, I, don't you? I uh, yeah. took to the tripod. Well, 
I'm really impressed with the way this sandwich looks. I mean, whew, look at that thing. It's so, so pretty. Butter, lettuce, and the radishes, and the little goat cheese. You have goat cheese on the wagon usually. No, I don't even see a goat run by most time unless it's a wild mountain goat. Oh my gosh. A lot of flavors there, ain't the sugar? My mama always had a garden and it was so good to have fresh out of the garden. Folks, this is just like right out of the garden. I, I'm really, really surprised at all these fresh ingredients. When you were doing this, we noticed the peach was incredibly Oh, it was ripe. so ripe, just right. Mm -hmm. When you were cooking it, I thought that's not going to be near enough butter. It crisps up nicely, maybe, it's, and it's also the type of... The sourdough bread, bread does that a lot. The recipe steps were very easy and basic. And then what was nice is they actually include some pictures. Mm -hmm. What I really liked about it, too, is that, yes, it's fresh ingredients, but we're in a very small town... Probably nearly 90% of this, these ingredients we couldn't get unless we drove maybe 50 miles yeah. or plus. We don't have fresh butter lettuce. Um, we don't have these different types of cheeses. It's a very basic little local grocery store. So that is the biggest oh, plus yes. to me is that you can get some fresh ingredients and you don't have to be in a big metropolitan <clears throat> area to get them. When you look at their website and all the different menu options that they're open, I mean, there's a lot of things on there that I would think, I ain't never going to eat that in my life. But you can ex sort of expand your cooking ability yeah. plus your palate and your taste ability. This passes the, like, simple yeah. test, right? The ingredients, we always say we don't cook. Well, Oop. you can't get full on fancy. Um, and I wouldn't say this is, like, fancy, fancy, but some of the ingredients are a little out of the box for us. But Yeah, but, uh, you know. That's what's fun <clears> about it. Remember, we promised you a little bonus here. We ordered us another seared steak and cheesy mashed potatoes with, what do you call them, mushrooms? Cre cremini mushrooms and caramelized onion. Because I'm a pretty hard critic on beef most of the time. I'm ready to see that, see whether it passes the cowboy cook or not. Now, I was after about medium rare, and you can see that is pretty close to that. I want to just get me some of this flavor before I get anything else. It's a grass-fed beef. Looks really well. Good and tender. Seasoned only with salt and pepper. I would have probably put some of my own on there, but it's a good taste of meat. Let's see if the beagle likes. The big says it meets his approval. Yeah, look who showed up. The more of the grass-fed family. Don't tell them it's their cousins. That's right. But folks, I usually don't put anything on my steak except our seasoning and then a knife and a fork in my teeth. But when you combine them cremini mushrooms with the good caramelized onions because they got that brown sugar in there, whew, it makes your taste buds be happy it does. You know, now I know y'all are going to ask me, how much does it cost, Kent? Well, their meals average anywhere from around $7.50 to $10 a serving. But don't forget that little link that Shan's got you below to where if you jump on there and you're the first 50 people, you're going to get $50 off. I didn't have to go to the store. That was a blessing. That's one of the pros of this deal. If we're going to talk about pros and cons of this little old blue apron box, I didn't have to go nowhere to get it. One of the biggest deals was the freshness of the vegetables. Now, folks, like I told you, that's like right going in the garden and picking it and bringing it in the house. The variety in which you can pick for in their plans and meals and menus that they have, you're never going to get bored by cooking out of this Blue Apron box. Or say you're going camping and you got an ice chest and you got a match and you got some wood. This is the perfect accompaniment to your little meal planning because it's all right there. All you got to do is cook it. So let's talk about the other side of this, the cons we might have against this deal, and they're very few, they are. But I'm used to cooking for cowboys. I'm used to cooking big, hearty meals. I would like to see a little bigger helpings. Now I'm sure your run-of-the-mill family, y'all probably don't eat a 16-ounce ribeye every once in a while, but I would like to see a little bigger portion on the meat especially, and a little more instruction on just sear it eight minutes one side, eight minutes the other side. Well, folks, this is a pretty thick cut little piece of sirloin. You need to sear them edges too. You've seen me as I rolled it around and seared all the edges on it because that's going to help seal in that moisture that you need. But overall, hey, this is a great deal if you're looking for something to help your cooking, to help your menu ideals, and for it to come right to your front door.
But I, I hope you, you enjoyed this today because me and Shannon the Beagle sure did. I wouldn't even do them if I didn't think I wanted to try the product. The product wasn't good and I didn't think it was going to be worth something. Hit the subscribe button down there. Always subscribe and not only share the food, but share the videos. Me and Shan will appreciate it. We want to tell you this. God bless you each and every one and we hope you have a great day above the grass. Take care. Here's your delivery. <laughs> Cook. Wait. Wait until you get, she gets the box out and you take it from her so we can see her. Okay. <laughs> it looks like the box is talking. Okay. Take 47 on the Blue Apron intro. Okay. Okay. Go. Kent, here's your delivery. Thank you, ma'am. So <laughs> was that bad? Okay. <laughs> Shan, we was on a roll. You, you, you were on a roll. You hadn't said anything. Yeah, but you went to laugh and we was going. <laughs> so does he say something and then I say something? No. She's just messing with okay, us. Okay, so just have one line. We have one line. That's and say it, say it in, an, in a southern accent. Yeah. Here's your meal, Kim. <laughs> Well, you know, it was do you good. know you're going to make the bloopers real?